everyone. My name is uh, Babatokwe Joseph Temida, popularly known as Puffy T. I'm a beatmaker, uh, music producer, songwriter, composer, actor, um, uncle, daddy, <laughs> your family friend. And um, you're watching Koga Meet on Koga TV. Don't get it Don't twisted, get it it's Puff T on the beat. Okay, actually, I got the name from my friends back then. Um, I used to work at a studio on the island called the Venezra Studio, African in Vogue, where um, I did my internship, like I did my training as um, sound engineer, recording engineer, sorry, and uh, in as like um, session man, playing keyboard and all that for Nelson Brown and for people that wants to make music, the producers then. Um, I used to eat uh, puff puff and tea every morning, you know, like choco, you know. So what I do is I squeeze out the oil from the puff puff and uh, peel the, the back and um, yeah, and I'll just use the stuff inside to eat, you know, and drink tea. So they started calling me uh, Mr. Puff Puff Tea, Mr. Puff Puff Tea, you know, getting better, like Puff Puff Tea, then Puff Tea, then Puff, then Puffy, then someone I said, hey, Puffy. And another person said, no, you never complete, you never add tea. Then that's how Puffy Tea, you just... <laughs> Hey guys, uh, Flo G, you just said, so Puffy T, what's up? So, and, um, so anytime they say Puffy T, it reminds me of the T, so I had to just remove e, the A and put E, so it became Puffy T. So P U double F Y T double E, Puffy T. Um, basically, they all work together, but um, the ones that has given me. Um, that's made me the puffy tea that everybody knows today is produce, producing, basically. Because uh, sometimes when you write songs for people, they don't want to um, accept it. They don't. They accept it. They take the song, they use it, and they don't want to give you your credit. You get so it, it's more like uh, people don't even know you wrote one or two songs, and they, they they like it, they sing it, they enjoy it, and they won't even know the writer of a song is sitting beside them. They just think you're the producer, you get, or the beat maker. So, but for for in overall, overall, um, beat making, producing has actually given me more, you know, more than songwriting and singing. Because I've I've not really sang did much song of myself, like me myself singing. I've already done two or three, you get. So, but I'm going to that. That will start giving me money now. You know this industry here, yeah, in, in the, this particular game, um, positioning is key. And um, I've not not been very lucky with artists. When you say artists, the ones that will do a song and will promote immediately and push to the level where people will know the song. I've only done with few people who luckily the song became hit or because the song is a good song, or it was time to make it was time to get a hit for the artist or something. Uh, I've worked with a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of upcoming artists back then. Uh, that some of them didn't promote the song. S most of my be best music, best beats, are not promoted. Don't get it Don't twisted. Get it it's Puff T on the beat. But the ones I can't remember. I know I, I did stuff with freestyle featuring Two Face. Most of you will not know the song, or probably will know the song. See Peasy. See Peasy. Plenty lighter for ya. Plenty shy for ya. I produced that song. I co produced um, uh, Mama, Papa, oh, AIT, Nabi Station, with Nelson Brown, First As You Know, FFD. Um, um, what's this lady's name? She's in um, Midnight Crew. Uh, what was her name again? She's in Midnight Crew. She's Midnight Crew. She and her sister. I play the guitar on the jingle. But I can't tell. I mean, it's, my name is not on it, so I can't be saying, ah, every time I play the guitar on it. I've done some songs, some jobs, you know, way back before, um, before yeah, I was there. Oh, boys, Kamakazi on the Ketro level. Yahuze, Ekamis. What a team. Um, being Olu's friend, um, we were able to 
pull stuff together and you know just make it work it was even a free session in fact it was um it is like a career session it's remaining half session that like, we didn't it wasn't going to use that day and we did it and that's that stuff cost um a relief between me and Edith and Kari because it was it was like whoa my session that was when you, you produced a hit song I mean it was supposed to be a session but I said oh yeah but you're you not around now so, <laughs> I, so the, the hit was just waste like that now so I I, I, I recorded you know it's, it now it's made to he told me that whoever recorded at that period of time will make will get a hit I said no I mean it's just a grace you know but it's not like um there's magic there. There's no magic in your session. It's just that, you know, but it was a free session. It was, you didn't pay for this session, you know. We just did it out of, okay, let's just rush and do this stuff. Hey, hey, My daddy uh, is late now. Last month, the uh, 13th, made it seven years. Um, yeah, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun at the beginning because I remember I, I, there was a there was a night vigil they did in the, in the church and it was the one that led the night vigil. It was men's night vigil, and across the church was a bar that um, I was playing for a juju musician. Then, now knowing fully well that this music we are playing is interfering into their night vigil because. There was loud, big speakers, and it was a party. It was more like a jump, where people would come and spray money, and we'll be singing. You know, you know, worldly song. They call it worldly song in the gospel. They are in the, they are in the first person. They say it's worldly song. Yeah, singing all sort of song. Yeah, and my daddy and his church members are praying, doing night vigil in the church, probably praying for their children, including me. And so and I'm, I'm the one using my bass guitar to disturb, boom, 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 to disturb what they have. So I didn't, he didn't know I was there because he left home for men night vigil. And as soon as he left home, me I sneaked out with my guitar and I came for the show. So they finished early, about four. They now came to the gates to look at what we are doing, to look at the people that have been making noises. So where they put, where where I was standing here, yeah, the base, where I was standing, my base is like is like more open. It's very. I was trying to hide in between the guitarists and all the other guys, but they say, "Oh, you stand here now. I mean, they see you." So where I was standing, I just heard, "Stop it! Stop it!" <laughs> it was. He wanted to be sure it's me. He said, "Ah, stop it! Stop it!" So, <laughs> but I just I didn't even carry my guitar. I dropped it and ran away. You know, so he go home that day. Ah, I won't die. The guy beating me I received that day. Oh my God. You know, his skin is always at the back of his chair. Yes, he has koboko, pankere, ikon, different types. Woman, woman, come by bunching. So anyone will do like this, you'll be looking for it. If it's an ikon, right? The ikon called Atoli. No, friend, no. Atoli, really. Why? Once you stand in front of you, say, hey, so, so, hey, what? You know that? As in, you hear the sound. Once you hear that sound, just, <laughs> just take over. You know, and my dad, if he wants to beat you, open the window and open the curtain. So those who are passing behind the house, you see that it's wiping you. <laughs> you know, so that day went by and um, um, something that happened. It was being transferred from that church to a far place to go and pass to another church. So I was left. I was left with my mom and my siblings. My mom came there. You know where she? I thought I would not shout. Ah, what is it, law? Where are you going again? I'm, I don't worry. Don't worry. When I come, I buy something for you. My mom will calm down. I will go and come back. You know, normal now. And um, so that was what saved me. My dad was transferred, and um, I was transferred again to another place. My mom had to now join him. I was left. I was left alone with my, my one of my brothers. So I became very free. I became very, very free, extremely free to a fault, and that's the reason why I only ended my um, my school days, my education, wherever in secondary school.
and that's why I didn't, I didn't go through any uni or go through any polytechnic. So the the yeah that I didn't that I didn't do the other stuff I was supposed to do as a young boy, go to school, graduate, serve and all that is not something I, I am enjoying today, but I thank God that I learned everything I learned from the streets and I'm happy. Don't get it Don't twisted, get it it's puff it's tea, tea on the beat. The beat. I, Batman. To all my fans and ACs out there, you know, I want to tell you something. Um, I love you guys and thanks for loving us. Thank you for appreciating and, 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 and encouraging us. Because it's, it's, um, it's not easy, you know, like um, back in the days where they don't know producers, but now you guys know us. And uh, thank you guys. God bless you. And for upcoming producers and upcoming um, young people that are coming up, that, you, that need to be inspired and need to be um, um, advised, I'll tell you guys to, to keep your head up and be positive always. And um, just think about positivity. And there's there's always this impos there's possibility in every impossibility. So try and see the positive part of things than the negative part of things. Always bring the best out of yourself. Do not let anyone look down on you. First of all, you have to appreciate yourself and love yourself and, and respect yourself. And every other thing, you know, will just come, you know. So one love, God bless you. My uh, Twitter handle is it's at it's profit ITS. P U W F Y T W E Instagram at it's profity. My Facebook you get plenty. Just type profity, you will see plenty. And you look at my picture, you will see. Um, yeah, my phone number is Koga TV. <laughs> <laughs>